The same question can be asked about each of the mega predators. Why, when they were on top, did they all become extinct? Extinctions happen for a variety of reasons. The most conspicuous reason, however, is some kind of shift in the climate, whether it's regional or global. What happens is it upsets the food chain balance. Large predators are particularly vulnerable to these extinction events because there are much fewer of them compared to their prey. So it becomes somewhat of a domino effect. The smaller species go extinct or start to disappear or get fewer in number and the predators just bottom out. This is probably what happened to the short-faced bear. Around 12,000 years ago, at the end of the last ice age, it had already started the slide towards extinction. But before it disappeared, the first humans trekking over land into North America came face to face with the largest carnivore on the continent. Those early explorers had seen bears before, but nothing could have prepared them for this close encounter. A male grizzly bear can weigh over 350 kilograms. The Kodiak is around 550 kilograms and three meters tall when on its hind legs. The polar bear is the largest of the modern bears, but even it would have looked up at the short-faced bear. Side by side, the skulls of a Kodiak and a short-faced bear provide a telling picture. The half-ton Kodiak seems almost childlike, next to the biggest bear ever in North America. The life story of this short-faced bear can be read in its bones. It was a male and in midlife when it died. Around 11,000 years ago, it roamed the open lands of Indiana probably weighing just under 800 kilograms. When he stood up to sniff the breeze for a scent of prey, he was as tall as a double-decker bus. The legs were extremely long, over a meter and a half at the shoulder. Unlike modern bears, the feet pointed forward, the sign of a good runner. The skull was wide and flat. The jaws had massive muscle attachments for gripping prey. With such enormous size, it could hunt and tackle any game it chose. Deer, giant sloth, or long-horned buffalo. The short-faced bear lived at a time when humans were also wandering the land. But if they spotted him, they were probably too close. All that remains of the collection of fossilized bones safe behind museum glass. But in life, it wasn't a bear you'd want to come face to face with. 